India has changed massively. In 1980, only one in 10 kids received their necessary vaccinations. Today, India provides essential vaccines to almost 90% of children. It's mind blowing. <laughs> India is also educating way more children than ever before. In 1970, over half of the children in India were enrolled in primary school. Today, primary school enrollment is nearly 100%. Both health and education are contributing to great progress. This is my first experience to pass out the period. It's a very uh, uh, wonderful experience. Rahe. And this is the first time that this is the Agnivir scheme. Under, uh, women uh, induct women. और जैसे हमेशा मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि जो फर्स्ट बैच होते हैं वो बहुत स्पेशल होते हैं क्योंकि उनके पास एक अपॉर्चुनिटी है जब वो पास आउट होकर बाहर जाते हैं काफी यंग गर्ल्स को इंस्पायर करने का उनके पास अपॉर्चुनिटी रहती है और एक एक और ग्लास सीलिंग तोड़ने की अपॉर्चुनिटी होती है तो मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि ये बहुत बड़ी यू नो स्टेप है इट्स अ हिस्टोरिकल फ्रंट रनर इट्स लॉट्स ऑफ थिंग्स आर हैपनिंग um uh, the school system and the informal system and the in the private sector and they're really coming together to really doing what's best for indian students to prepare them for the future the right skills for the right job i would like to commend the indian government uh, and its strong focus on innovation as a key to progress and prosperity uh, doing so in flagship progr programs such as make in india startup india india digital india and these are also areas the government particular has been very very supportive of the entire startup ecosystem and in several cases sector by sector it has gone ahead and created first of its kind uh policies which are globally uh unique and innovative and i'll give you an example from my own sector mm -hmm. uh everybody knows that gig and platform workers are in many ways the future of work india was amongst the first countries globally to recognize gig and platform workers when the code of security was passed last year in the parliament and to provide social security benefits to gig and platform workers and today countries all over the world are looking at that regulation as a landmark regulation to follow mm -hmm. this is the case in several sectors and and the government has made its intentions very clear that we are here to support companies we are here to support startups we are promoting a market economy and we want india to get to that 5 trillion dollar economy mark as soon as possible and that's the reason why everybody is betting on india right now our biggest asset is our people so anything that happens with respect to encouraging education having digital literacy I think only helps Adobe and we always go where the talent is all across the world and so we're very uh, supportive of a more emphasis and interest in education.